this episode, we take a look at a simple but vital aspect of healthcare for pregnant mothers and babies, antenatal checkups. And then we explore what it means to be born different, living with autism. Pregnant women find vital care and support before and after giving birth, which helps to ensure that mothers and babies stay healthy. Dine Okay. I see you stay in Nyanga. All right. And you attend clinic there with your sister in Nyanga. So why did sister send you here? They say I'm a high risk. I lost the baby in 2007. Mm -hmm. I was six to seven months. So now they say I'm a high risk. So now at least you and know, ancestors know that baby is growing well. And it's all 35 weeks, so it's past the problem. Yes. Very well. Okay. I also need to do your blast test to see if your iron is fine. It's okay? Put the drop on. Let me wait for the reading. The iron is fine. It's 9.11.9, .9, and the sugar is also fine. So there's no problem with that. As I said, as a midwife, for us, antenatal care is the care for mother and the unborn child. Tigerberg Hospital, us is, as we said, is the level two and three hospital for antenatal care, which means it's patients and mothers being referred from the bank clinics, the MOUs or the level one hospitals because of previous uh, obstetric history or because of uh, pregnancy problems. One of the problems we have globally with pregnant women, it's hypertensive disorders in pregnancy. So let's say for argument's sake, a patient comes here, the blood pressure is 160, 110, the urine says 3 plus protein. This patient will then be having severe preeclampsia. There's a patient you would not allow to go home. But you know, don't start to go to pillani mental mother program. Go mama, abagwas le ukule sabandwana kagotle despite poverty, ba kula kagotle sabandwana ba bondleka. Our mama, we train them. Ba ame ba peke ku community ba yo share coping mechanisms. Zabo peke to community abo together with what we've trained them. And this is most important. Our mama be to sifuna. Abe 
ukuqini seki sinto kokuba impilo kamama lo uzithweleyo if utestiwe pha njengoba ekhulelwe uza if ufumanya sinto ba u HIV positive for instance ne uza unikwa i treatment ukuwenzela into kokuba yena umama ahlale i viral load yakhe isezansi ukwenzela ntoni ba angathini angasuleli and then I'm going to see the Pinsalago community, the Spanish geographical area. I'm going to see the Pinsalago community, the Pinsalago community, the Pinsalago community, the you deserve more now. It's in a four a clinic event is here. I'm going to go to the clinic. I'm going to go to the clinic. I'm the clinic. I'm going to go up to eight months. And then Kaina eight months um visit twice a month, Kaina nine months um visit every week until a beleke. And once um dana ozel u visitela for every week for the first month and then even go um visitele monthly until at a bene six months. Pagu six months since the two weekly visit. So that is born in the Bauchi because that's the time of introduction of solids. And then in Vinco, we can see a monthly up until Babina two years. After two years, see every six months. Nogu Kubekeke, Gokum Nangisa Ibis Label. Otherwise, Goku, Umse, Akana, you next need a way to a care cooler, and then Diabule like a coolu. Mama ka enzo, okay. so pinas bona neke nguku kaina six months. Nko okay. sima ka enzo. Okay. Papa yi ni ke betuna. Bye enzo. Eh, kwa mifia kumdo kulelo ya of course ya mwe ya kumdo kulelo ya simfuleli folta. I folta yetu i jonga indo ba na uye liyo bukisha. I jonga indo ba uye zlandele appointment zake. I jonga ba uye atihera ku treatment. Because kwa pregnant either unikuwa i treatment yo if ye HIV or unikuwa i treatment yako ye folic acid and ion. So you need to make sure that you take those things. Eh, we only see bana yo indo ba sifundi sa yo nanjenga banda ba kulelo yo indle yo uzipata yo ba uchandoni. Nezindomauzins, One of the most important things, even in a clinic that does not have an ultrasound, is to do the SF measurement. In other words, check how the baby is growing, the abdomen, how big the abdomen or how small the abdomen, because there's so much you can pick up, even in a clinic setting. And that's when you'll be able to phone uh, level two, level three, and say, I am suspecting that this patient could be having um, Two babies could be having a myomatous uterus, could be having increased water. Can you please take over? Then we would, we would come, the patient would come to us and pose that we would then uh, send them for to, to, to do an ultrasound. Oh, mama, but on time. 
abayiku antenatal clinic on time. O mama by Benza is in to ezing a co as mam yun and bill sound bins out and done boozel and next time at two weeks. Mdana ni kwe i formula kota umed buya nanya. So the ninja zin to basanga be baz abasanga be sana naso pai sali. So, in short, you would want a pregnant woman not to smoke, not to drink, not to embark on any substance of abuse, and um, not to take any medication that is not prescribed by the healthcare professional. But like I have said, you also have an issue of, uh, of, 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 of religion and on one hand. On the other hand, you have the issue of culture. And some of the things you still would need, faith-based organizations, you still would need traditional leaders because they will best be listened to by patients and healthcare professionals. And then it target here to go home on our mama. I think I've been spending two days. I was doing some court care because the band man needs to be spent on again foreign things. We court. Abandoning the basement suit tag, a basement suit call gate, which is dangerous for his intos on Dan, Basibens is in those needs and in a quasus. So, Tina's a provider, a surgical spirit, and but make sure that by Fundis Mam in Lela, you could cut a little gab. At the same time, Sifunuti make sure in Doba, a breastfeeding initiate a cool and Mamia quasu go leches from Dana, and we are continuation exclusive breastfeeding. Sifunu Kondi Dogba. I am a Kakushe. I clinic Zabo, because Ugo Amba way to Kubo. I could touch in Dogobango, and I've never by Yak Banga, you look with a clinic, and it was as your clinic team. Quasin Yang and the Amba A clinic, he experienced Yami Kukubona in the Obana Kubalekilo, we a clinic, you look with Langetras. You look with Langetras and Jacoba Kukunin is a high blood in his wakil. Nagin di bona e into e right le oba ushuku shenge kwa shaku bam nandi ngumtu obeke wa loza wa loza isos so and funu pindi de shile londo le. Children with autism are often misdiagnosed and misunderstood. Parents talk about the developmental impairment of their children with autism. When he was about one or eight months, um, we realized that he was uh, not responding to his name, to sound. Um, we thought he might be deaf, so we took him to have his ear checked. And they said 100% hearing, so it was that he was autistic. passed away three years ago and since we've been his mother's pretty much. We found out that Ozzy had autism. Uh, basically it was the time he started going to crash. He must have been almost three years old and, um, and the teachers were complaining that he cannot sit on his own and have his lunch and he was not socializing with other kids. He would just sit in a corner all alone and they suggested that we consult with some psychologist as they could see that something was not um, right. My name is Prashant Parasnath. I'm 28 years old. It all had to do with my childhood problems. Because I didn't know how to no navigate socially, I was always getting picked on. And eventually I just didn't take, couldn't take it anymore and I just went absolutely nuts. Every day I was fighting, every day I was beating someone up. They all thought I was crazy. You know, eventually the eventually the teachers separated me from the other kids because uh, there wasn't protection for me, it was protection for them, you know, which is weird. Socially he battled and we also saw it in his um, uh, academics. We changed schools for him as well. We thought, well, you know, that that would 
improve and help him along. But it didn't. It just got worse and worse and worse. So my parents taught, they took me to a lot, to many uh, psychologists. But then, but uh, that was only when I met Professor Lassage that he found out I had Asperger's syndrome, that I had high functioning autism because of my social inabilities and my learning difficulties. The word autism refers to a diagnosis in, particularly in children, but it can apply across children and adults as well, referring to a, what they call global impairment or global uh, developmental delay. Of all, the, you know, the brain has got various higher functions, um, some of them being social, emotional, and behavioral. So in autism, you get an impairment or an affectation of all of those. Not hearing sound, not knowing his name, not acknowledging people in general. He was in his own sort of world, and that's how autistic children are. They are in their own world. I found my sanctuary in science fiction and fantasy, and I liked uh, creative writing. So I spent a lot of time with that, and science fiction books. I spent a lot of time reading science fiction books because a lot of the characters were strange people in these strange worlds, and they didn't know how to cope, and they had to find ways to cope. At the crash, they said no, they can't um, accept him because he was grabbing the other kids' things. Maybe I'm understanding Janab. So that was quite a difficult time because you know when your child reaches a certain age, you want them to go to a school and you want them to be like other kids pretty much. So that was quite sad. When I first um, you know, researched it, I saw there was only one organization that had, had an early intervention that was affordable. So I approached Action in Autism. The sooner you start intervening and the sooner you start providing educational intervention for, and therapeutic intervention for our children, you give them a better opportunity in life. Right now, Action in Autism can only provide service to 16 children at any given time because we don't have the infrastructure and the capacity to roll out. And that is why we have to work with government as a partner if we want to roll out to every single child in KwaZulu-Natal. Every single child has a right to access education and every child with autism or neurodevelopmental delay should be given intervention as early as possible. So when I take my children into a public area or even to families' homes, or it is very difficult because they don't understand the child's needs and they feel my child is just naughty. You know, it's hard for them to, to understand that he is um, a special needs boy. Awareness. That's the main problem because some people they might take him as if he is he is uh, being rude or he's, he's just being disrespectful. However, it's simply that people don't know. Even us, we never knew about autism prior to Oza being diagnosed. It is exhausting emotionally. Um, I think, like I said, a, pa a lot of patience. And I, th I think it, it would be good as well if parents also seek uh, a bit of therapy as well as to what they did in, because I mean, they're in for it for a long haul. You go through this, you know. or go in the TV room, please. <coughs> Lennon? Lennon, are you not listening? <laughs> no.
No, 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 not again. Uh, again. Go. No. In a different I way. Hot. Yes, darling. Hot. It is hot. Yes. Out. No, darling. Out. No. Please. Miss. Please, no. Meat. No. Okay, go in the room. I'll come now. Mm. Please. Okay. There we go. In terms of understanding autism, one would need to know that like you support a child with blindness or you support a child with deafness, you have to support a child with autism for their lack or the inability or inappropriate social understanding. It's important to research about your autism and find out the nearest centers where they could possibly get information about his goal, for instance. Okay, so we were lucky enough that we found out that there was um, a support group which is Action in Autism, and through them, they're able to support you, give you AMA workshops, for instance, as well as uh, information, there's goal about where the kids can go. I've been lucky in that I've had parents who had the patience to you know, to understand, you know, to, to understand what I'm going through. Most kids don't have that. You know, they have parents who are frustrated and think their kids are weird, or sometimes their kids are, you know, or in some cases in the townships, their children are bewitched and, you know, they tried, and some, the, you know, some parents even try to abandon their children. And the psychiatrists, quite a few of the psychologists and the psychiatrists themselves were not sure with what they were dealing with. So we had to, go to a few, we, we, we went through at least half a dozen. So, uh, and, and that's a costly affair, that's, that's expensive. I would say that support is very important, uh, particularly family support, because it is not an easy journey. All right, with starting from the research, starting from taking care of him, uh, because you need to be very hands-on. 24/7, you need to make sure that he is safe. Uh, again, because it's it's you know a lot of children with autism are being diagnosed as ADHD, or as diagnosed as conduct disorder, or just mental retardation, when they might actually well be autistic spectrum. So I think that the incidence in this country needs to be worked out properly. It does affect boys more. You get more boys who are diagnosed with autism than girls. If you had to go to Autism South Africa's website, I don't know how they gain that data, you are looking at at least 120,000 in KZN alone. And we know we do not have the capacity to support those children with autism and those people with autism. And that if we don't put matters in place soon, then we are doing a huge injustice to our people with autism.